Arise, let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus say the Lord, sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shout for the chief of the nation. Proclaim, give praise, and say, O Lord, save your people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the furthest part of the earth and among, and among them the blind, the lame, the pregnant woman and she who is in labor together, a great company, they shall return here. With weeping they shall come and with pleas of mercy I will lead them back. I will make them walk by brooks of water in a straight path in which they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O nation, and declare it in the coastland far away. Say you who scattered Israel will gather him, and he will keep him as a shepherd keeps his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, and has redeemed him from the hands to too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion, and they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord, over the grain, the wine, the oil, and over the young of the flock and the herd. The, the life shall be of a watered garden, and they shall languish no more. Then shall the young woman rejoice and dance, and the young man and the old man shall be merry. I will return, turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. I will feast the soul of the priest with abundance and make my people. And my people shall be satisfied with goodness, declares the Lord. Thus say the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama. Lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children. She refused to be comforted for her children because they are no more. Thus saith the Lord, Keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears. For there is reward for your work, declares the Lord. And there shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope for your future, declares the Lord. Your children shall come back to their own country. I have heard Ephraim grieving. You have disciplined me, and I was disciplined, like an untrained calf. Bring me back, that I may be restored, for you are the Lord my God. For after I have turned away, I relent, and after I was instructed, I struck my thigh. And I was ashamed, I was confounded, because I bore the disgrace of my youth. Is Ephraim my dear son? You see, my darling child, as often as I speak against him, I do remember it, remember till still, hear him still. Therefore my heart yearned for him, I surely have mercy on him, declared the Lord. Set up road markers for yourself, make yourself guideposts, consider well the highway, the road by which you went. Return, O virgin Israel, return to this city, your cities. For how long will you waver, O faith, faithless daughter? For the Lord has created a new thing on the earth, a woman encircles a man. That sounds strange, right? Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, once more they shall use this word in the land of Judah and its cities when I restore their fortune. The Lord bless you, O habitation of righteousness, O holy hill. Verse 24, And Judah and all its cities shall dwell there together, and the farmers of those who wandered in their flock. For I will satisfy a very soul, and every languishing soul I will replenish. At this I awoke and looked, and my sleep was pleasant to me. So he was dreaming, huh? No? <laughs> Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord when I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and the seed of beast. And it shall come to pass that as I have watched over them to pluck up, to break down, to, to overthrow, to destroy and to bring harm, so I will watch over them to build and to plant, declares the Lord, 
In those days they shall no longer say, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on age. We will be commemorating the passion, the suffering, and the death of our Savior, as well as His victorious resurrection. We thank God that we have a Savior who really loves us, gave Himself for us, and that this Savior of ours, not only did He die for us, but He rose again from the grave and give us the assurance of forgiveness and victory over death, sin, and over sin. And we thank God that we have been chosen to know Him personally in our lives. And He is with us today. And as we enter His presence in prayer, let us, let us be confident that He will hear our prayers. Those of you who have concerns and needs, bring them to the Lord this morning. Because God, in Jesus Christ, demonstrated His care and His love for each one of us. Iya, kini ni pakita na nato. Siya, nahihugma ka nato. Siya, nagsirpa tayo sa ato ng sirpasyon. Because He, the reason He came, Crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed him were shouting in praise and adoration. Yan ayan ang yan yan ang open and close bracket ng Amplified Bible. Kusana to the Son of David. Blessed, praise or glorified is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Kusana in the highest. You know the meaning of Kusana in the highest. Ang sinasabi ng mga tao na naglatag ng kanilang mga damit at mga palmera sa kanyang daanan, sinasabi nila yung word na usana ay save us, save us! Yon ang ibig sabihin. Because they wanted to be freed from this uh, Roman no? uh, slavery that, that they have been experiencing for many, many years. Hindi ba alam? ang mga Romanong pinakamatagal na kongkesto to sa mundo. 500 years. And part of that 500 years, sila ay naalipin. Kaya gusto na nilang makaalpas, gusto na nilang makalaya, at ang sabi nila nung pumapasok si Jesus, winabagay huwag ang mga palmera, at inilalatan at atin ang mga dami, at ang sabi nila, iligtas mo kami! Iligtas mo kami! Now, I'll show you mamaya yung entrada o yung yung tayo o tayo line yung paano si Jesus ay merong dilemma at that point so some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus teacher <laughs> alam nyo ganun lang ang respeto hindi po umabog sa rabay eh teacher eh oh? sabi nila respected teacher sabi nga yeah, you are an, you are didaskalos Uh, rebuke your disciples I tell you sabi ni Jesus if they keep quiet the stones will cry out it is a metaphoric expression of saying hey, simple yan huwag mong sawayin ang aking mga alagad so pagkat kung sasawayin mo sila hindi mga bato mismo Oh, my God. 
Thank you.